Fuck those guys. <laughs> Fuck them all. The guy's a douchebag. Fuck them. Titus is a little insecure because his show doesn't do well. Mark Titus. Fuck that guy. I blame Nate entirely for all of this. I'm not even kidding. Thank you for making this all of our problems. Not, Dude. not taking blame. Better not come to New York. I swear to fucking God, you better not come to New York. If he comes to New York, he can come in this office and he can talk to my face and then we can step outside and I'll punch him in the face. And I don't care because it's not at the work office. I don't give a fuck. I fucking hate that asshole. I can't believe he's working here. I can't believe it. I can't. Kelly, yes. a uh, eventful weekend, Friday, you would say? Eventful weekend, eventful Friday. I'm not going to talk about how Kelly Keek sits in here Monday through Thursday and tries to prop herself up, talking down and condescending to me, acting like she's God's gift to radio when the show has been a massive failure if I'm not on it. We're taking radio back over, okay? Enough. Enough with the drama. Enough with, with the bullshit. I'm not giving attention to people who don't deserve it anymore. That's my new, my new stance. We are about to talk about Taylor Swift and there's nothing anybody can do to stop me. Uh, a hair transplant surgery in Turkey is, is one fifth or even less. Yeah, that's what everybody the says. The cost of doing it in America. I think if the Chiefs win, Travis Kelsey's gonna propose. Francis, I actually have been waiting since the start of the show to hear about what you did this weekend. <laughs> I, I had a good weekend. I went to the Eric Taylor? Henry Taylor exhibit at the Whitney Museum. You have a storyline to talk on radio. Finally, there's some that people are interested in, and you're gonna ignore it and talk about Taylor Swift because you don't because you don't want to give Tate the shine, dude. Like I get you don't want to talk about it, but you have to put your like feelings behind you for the viewer and for the listener. People want to hear. I'm disappointed. I defended that show on Friday, and like I'm very disappointed they're shying away from it. But like when people say like I don't want to give uh, um, you know a, a, a part-time employee uh, attention, it's like. This is, this is, that's what Barstool is. Like, Dave will be fighting an intern. Like, it, it's, that's never really mattered. It's just whoever is the main character yeah, that day is the main character. write a blog on Friday about, so she had enough. Yeah, you addressed it then. You addressed it then, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, they well, want also, it to be like when drama like, naturally like, happens. When it happens to you, you can't ignore it. If it was like, you and Ohio Tate were going at it, it'd be like, maybe you can skirt it. But so then like, you, you bring, were heavily you bring involved that in, in to it. talk about it. Yeah, right. right I mean, right, like, this, that. Like, that, that, is, that is the format of our show. We've got happening. We've got to talk about it. That's what we're doing here. That is kind of crazy. I'll bring it up tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah. If I get on. If it's questions. other Barcelona personalities that you have nothing to do with, I can understand that argument more. Like but even that is like, that's, that's what yeah. Barcelona Radio is. I don't know. They want to change it. Well, that, yeah, I think they that's are the eager whole, to change it, but too, right? they I don't know. It. But they changed it to Taylor Watch. Wait, waiting, yeah. waiting for drama is not a successful. No. Format, so I know that. But when drama hits, you can't ignore it. That's the point. It's like do it for the audience, even if you don't want to do it yourself. Like, you just do it. I don't know. Not my show. No, 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 no. I canceled Boston Radio. What, what happened? What happened? What didn't happen? Yeah. So I believe on Barstool Radio they just did an hour of Barstool Radio without addressing any of the beef, and Dave canceled the show immediately afterwards. I assume because they didn't address the beef in Barstool Radio's The Inner Barstool Show. I'll tell you what, as an outsider, just seeing this gave me a stomachache. I was just in the bathroom pooping because I was like, oh my God, imagine that was me. It would definitely make me work. I'm sure you saw Kelly Keegs versus Friday, Ohio yeah. Tate. They just didn't talk about it at all. Ignored it. Did they like did, did say a word about it. I, I, I blame myself. You blame yourself? I blame me. Not, it's my fault. I should have been better and gone in there. Yeah. Like, this place needs me to fucking do everything. I should have gone in there. And like the one time I try to play nice, the whole show gets fucking canceled. I know better than everybody. It's what I've always been saying. And cross then, your bear. It's cross a bear. If you went in there, what would you have done? <laughs> Made them talk about it. Yeah, but like, what would, they, what would you want them to actually say you want them to shit on Ohio State? I mean, it doesn't even have, to, you just have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. it. It doesn't have to be even like aggressive like that. But they were on Taylor Watch. There's more important stuff going on. It just stops, stops, stops. Do you think you are, I mean, you like officially are a needle mover name. You moved it to zero, but you moved it. You we moved all it. failed. You failed. Tommy. You failed. I, Tommy I, Tommy, failed. Tommy, 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 thoughts? Wait, I was talking about Thoughts, Tommy? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I should have, maybe I should have stirred the pot, but they, they asked me to come on and talk football. They said before the show they didn't want to talk about it. So I was like, all right, if they want to talk about it, they'll talk about it. If not, I want, I'm not. It's not my show. I was just like, whatever they want to talk about, I'll, I'll be here to, to paddle along the discussion.
Dan, I called Tommy. 15 minutes before the show, I said, Tommy, I have two questions. One, were you on Barstool Radio? Yes. Did you talk about Kelly Keegs versus Ohio Tate? No. I said, I have an additional question. Are you a pussy? Why not? And he's like, yeah, I was a pussy. No, you no, should have charged in. You were, you were already in there! Yeah. You can't do that. You can't play that card when you're sitting there. I'm, I'm, I'm not the one saying that, like, you're right, I'm you're not right, angry. You're right, you're right. I'm lost <laughs> out of you. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm not angry. As the leader, I'm taking full blame. We need to have a live show out of New York. I think that's an important thing for us. How do we how do we fix this, Mr. Lee? I, I'm going to say clearly we don't need a live show per day. No, but isn't it good to have a live show? I, the, I, the idea is there. I think it just wasn't executed properly. What's your idea? How do we fix this? This you is the thing. Like, something. I did the whole Nobody Friday thing. Did. It was great. And then, like, I felt I knew they were all in their own heads. And, like, I, I had a soft Could never have a soft spot. Because then this happens. Taylor was a pretty big story, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was just spur of the moment. He just, he called well, Tommy. Are, are, are we in on the rundown just now? For, like, 35 seconds. What was going on? He didn't even invite me on, John Rich. <laughs> Um, Has anyone spoken to him? Tommy, he called Tommy and called Tommy a pussy for not for not for not like making you guys talk about it. I asked at the, at the beginning of the show. I said I don't really want to keep drawing attention to like the trolls only, and they all were like, "Yeah, that's not even like nobody yeah, cares." You should call Dave, or he's on the rundown right now, I guess. But you should call Dave. Well, again, thank you for making this all of our problems. Not, not taking blame. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't hear the news at all. Tommy texted me and said, did Dave call you? And I said, about what? And then I saw a tweet that said it's canceled till further notice. Um, I can't say that I am surprised or upset. <laughs> I think that whatever Dave has to say about this, he probably is mad that we didn't talk about the uh, Ohio State blog that was written about me on Friday which I responded to, and, like, that's that. Barstow Radio was canceled. What? What do you mean? What happened? Dave uh, tweeted it and sent us an email. He said what? He sent us an email. Dave did. Uh, he tweeted. And he tweeted that it, the Barstow Radio is canceled? Wow. Bummer. That's crazy. Uh, sorry to hear it. I was enjoying it. All right. Oh well, onward and upward. But all I know is that we were having fun and trying to get in the group of things and then all of a sudden Nate wanted a radio show on a Friday so he turned the narrative into nobody works on Fridays and then now I'm the poster person for laziness at Barcelona Sports which makes no fucking sense at all and is frustrating to me. And I've said all this in blogs, how many times can I fucking repeat myself? It's like beyond. So I'm just, I'm tired of repeating myself. I blame Nate entirely for all of this. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah, I have some thoughts. We should have talked about fucking Tate. It's the easiest layup in the world. Talk about what everyone wants you to talk about, and you have a radio show. I thought that would have been much more interesting. I understand how someone would not want to talk about something. You can't skip over an elephant in the room. And I also wish that I went in there and like was like, what is going on, which is what I thought I was going to do. But I was like, let them figure it out on their own. But I mean, it stinks. You don't want to see a show canceled, so. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I do not know how they thought they could get away with that and show up tomorrow to Barcelona Radio as though nothing happened. Maybe they don't want to do it. Na -na 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 -na. Ohio State full-time. Thoughts? You might, you might be sitting right here. <laughs> uh, I, I let a guy live his dream. I got him his dream job at Barstool. Another feather in my cap. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> let me tell you, I dug deep on this guy, and I don't know... I didn't know people could be this clean, okay? He's done more for youth women's basketball in the state of Ohio than Coach K did for Duke, as far as I can tell. Trust me, everybody has dirt. Initial thoughts are he better not set foot in this office. That's all I have to say. He better not come to New York. I swear to fucking God, he better not come to New York. If he comes to New York, he can come in this office and he can talk to my face and then we can step outside and I'll punch him in the face. And I don't care because it's not at the work office. I don't give a fuck. I fucking hate that asshole. I can't believe he's working here. I can't believe it. I can't. I think this is a big win for you. I don't mind more Ohio State support. In theory, yeah. You know what this is good for? This is good for the children of America. <laughs> Ohio State working for Barstool and not teaching. I think that's a win-win for, for his class. <laughs>
were sitting on radio, dude was like, oh, we gotta play this clip, so we were blindsided. But, uh, and again, blindsided meaning that Tyus just like, basically cried on his show that he has to wake up early and go to work. Is they plotting to move us or something? No, they, they, they were trying to figure out timing. They're 11.30 on Mondays. Oh, so they're gonna go right after us. So we're the lead in to- Yes. The, only on Mondays though. Yes. Well, that's nice. So they're okay. So I guess the Pick Central boys just got eaten on Mondays. Um, well, they'll probably actually just move back to, to noon. No, they won't. They'll they'll uh, have a big dump in their pants and complain about it, and surely get Dave and the boys to move their time slot um, and complain about how our show is here first and fuck your show. Uh, you're not going to do numbers that we're going to do, um, yeah. and we deserve priority over you, so we're going to fucking take your time slot. And in an extension, by taking your time slot, fuck up your entire lifestyle because you have to wake up earlier now. Even though we're on the East Coast and we should be the ones waking up earlier, you're going to have to wake up earlier in Central Time um, because our show is bigger than yours. Fuck those guys. <laughs> fuck them all. Which I, I feel horrible. He's got to wake up and get to work by 9. It's grueling to say the least, and I hope he's okay. Um, he said a lot of lies, because I had a phone conversation with Big Cat, said, listen, Big Cat was on our side, like, you guys had a show for five years, you can, uh, you kind of, you pick what you want, they will they'll go whatever time slot they are. I said, I, Brandon has kids, I think that he should be with his kids in the, in the morning. Um, we'll go earlier, you guys go after us. They all, the son said, fuck it, we're gonna go early. And then about five months later, Titus is still crying. And yeah. again, Titus talked to nobody. So, but yeah, he's been here a long time and dictates what happens around here. Uh, yeah, the deal is there was a time slot controversy a million years ago about mostly sports and Pick Central. Um, we, they basically told, they had zero respect for us, made us move our time, um, which we were, were nice guys about, and we just kind of went along with and whatever. And the reason it came up today is because I saw that Dave and Kirk and Witt are going at the Pick Central time, and uh, it just kind of, I had some shit to get off my chest. That We've been dealing with that for a few months now. Um, I, I, I do find it fascinating that uh, they're not going to say a word to Dave, and nor should they, to Dave and Kirk and Witt. Uh, but I thought that maybe they shouldn't have done that to us either. And they did. And they tried to play a trump card that, like, we're the bigger show and we're the established show and you guys are new and all that. And we just kind of graciously stepped aside. And it all just bubbled over today, and I felt like letting it out. So I don't regret anything. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they took it pretty well, and they understood because everything I said was true. They know it to be true. Uh, and that's pretty much it, so. And he also said that Hev, he goes, it's hypocritical that you respect, you respect, you respect Dave more than you respect us. A uh, duh. Yeah, of course, of course I respect Dave more than Mark Titus. What are you talking about? That's just, I don't think that's, I think that's common knowledge. So I he respect. He writes the checks. No, he writes the checks. He is the reason why me and you are both here. In That's your cool. opinion, do you think Titus sees clips of like Kirk and Dave and he puts himself on that level and thinks he can talk down to you? Yeah. Yes. That's so what that, it sounds like. A hundred percent. And I, I, I think and I, I think also, he just doesn't I think he's like so outside Barcelona he doesn't look at those type of tiers, probably. No, he thinks that everyone like it's yes, you're a hundred percent right. Like I think that because so, saying that to Big Ev, saying like you just respect Dave more than me. Is, like, is, is that is that an exact quote, yep. honestly? Dude, yes. He said you and Rico, basically. Okay, I, so, I just was I, like, so he didn't invite me on. He, he did, I guess, I guess Big Cat wanted, Big Cat's stance, he wanted to squash it because he was like, why do, he knew that like, obviously, listen, I mean, everyone here was, knew that you guys aren't like, you and Titus obviously aren't crazy with each other. Him and Rico had their shit, but even, but even I was kind of confused because him and Rico had like, done content together even like recently. And then he had me on, it was like, basically, there's no reason for you two to have beef. He was like, I didn't really mean you. He was like, I kind of just like, collab he, was like he was like, I was annoyed with the brand of like, what, of like the brand of potential as a whole as like the way the time something happened. Oh yeah, I did that. I, he apologized. So yeah, I, I really don't it's all good. good. I really just wanted to go. Good. That's, oh, no, yeah. that's, that was when I explained to him. I said, the reason it made me go nuts is because generally in my heart, I've had like no ill word towards the show. 
I love Brand, I love Ebo, Jin. Like I'm like I'm like in my I'm never rooting anything against them. And then for them all of a sudden like he just was like fuck you guys like our show's better than yours. I kind of was like what the fuck. I know. Like I'm sitting here like in my head and my heart like rooting for you guys. And then you're telling me to go fuck myself. I was that's how in my my knee jerk was like no fuck you. But it basically he just said he thought from day one you kind of made up this thing in your head of like being of having this like standoffish thing towards you and then you had your he didn't say that i, I would imagine the spat, he was referring to the spat that was on the stream you and two had the little spat on the stream for his uh for his subscriber thing well i don't like i don't like i don't like uh Izzo. that's what it was about that's right. It was about it. Was it was just about it. Well, they were we just like you guys had your shit, and you got big cowboys who squashed the beef between me and between me and Titus. I can tell the beef squashed. I'm not. I don't know if there's beef between me, but uh, he has he has an issue with you and Rico. It sounds at least that was what I gathered from it. I don't know why is this with you. Ev went on the yak with Titus, and everything Ev said, I'm in complete lockstep. Everything Ev said is exactly how I remember it. I don't know, how, you know, that's that was my. That, that was how I, how Ev and I, we were, in, as much as we were involved. I know that I talked to Brandon last night, had a good conversation with him. It's, it seems like the the beef is kind of squashed, at least for now. Or at least it is from my perspective, at least it is, I know from Ev's perspective, we talked about it. Um, I, I, I don't know if there's a ton more to it, a ton more juice to it. I did, you know, maybe suggest to Brandon, hey, do you want to maybe move times now that radio's gone? Do you want to shift stuff around? His show's doing really well. I don't think they, they want to move, which I completely understand. So as far as I know, it's good. Brandon and I were talking baseball last night. So as far as I'm concerned, it's all good, but. The book ain't closed, dude. Everybody's acting like this shit is squashed. This shit is not squashed. It's squashed for me, I guess. No, what do you mean? Not. Dude, this book is not fucking closed. There's no way. Both of those dudes still feel how they felt. I, this is not closed. As, I'm just saying. But here's the thing though, Rowan. With that, you, when he went at Pink Central, he went at four of us. For two of us, we were almost like, what the fuck? Like, Evan and I were just like, we don't have any beef with Titus. What is this even about? So you don't stand with your brothers? I stand with them, of course. I, and that's why I yelled back yesterday. So it's not squashed? I, I don't know. I mean, I think you have to have, no, to have a beef, you have to have both parties wanting to to have the beef. I don't think Titus and is interested Marty in having the beef. And Marty and Titus still don't like each other. They're never going to like each other. Perfect. So it's not squashed. But but where, but how does that, but what, 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 like, what are Evan and I supposed to do about that? Stand with your brothers? Oh, I'm not like I'm gonna go out and have drinks with Titus anytime soon. But if I see him in Chicago, I'd be like, I don't, well, like I don't have an issue with him I, unless he attacks our show again. I don't really see how it's an issue for us. Marty and Titus hate each other. I understand that, but what do you want me to do about that? What do, What are you gonna do about it? Me? I'm not on either show, my king. <laughs> but but you like you like Marty. You work with Marty. Like what? Like what? Do you, like at some point, like he's a grown ass man. I don't really get the whole coming out of our show, but you know, he had, I was saying this about it. He didn't he didn't apologize to me. He apologized to that, but he hasn't gotten apologize to me. So maybe I maybe I am a little bitter. The craziest thing is is I think most of us. I mean, did you want to go early? I wanted to go early. I didn't care. I don't I don't I don't care as long as we had a time slot. That was my whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess. He, I have a job. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Meek, you want to come? Yeah. I'm on the way. Uh, wrapping up the rundown, and then we're going to do the first ever Barstool New York content draft. Four teams, four captains. Draft your team to make a monthly video to try to see who can make the best content here at Barstool. I think you're looking at a couple early picks. Yeah, it's, it's one of the few drafts that I feel okay about. Like, I mean, whatever. Come back in 15 minutes and maybe we're sitting here like, The two oh, last fuck. minutes all fucking drafts. <laughs> Doesn't, they're just like people instinctively think it's a kickball game or something. Yeah, like, I can't say, how, how are you guys like compared to the gym class? Way something? better. I think way better. Way off. better. Way better. Yeah. Off. I mean, there's a reason we're working here and not, you know, in the NFL. <laughs> There's a reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because we're not athletic. Yep, that's the reason. Yeah. And then the final. Captains? Yeah. You, Kelly, Francis, me. Oh, wow. Um, oh, those are some captains, like all right. Do Can we decline being picked? So, oh, we'll do like the dog walk guys. I'm excited, I think. This could either go really well or really oh. bad. Because, like, the team you could get. I'm just scared. I feel like I get along with everyone. I talk to everyone pretty much every day. So I'm not really scared about my team. I guess I'm more just like, what the fuck are we going to do? Like, what are we going to make? The world's our oyster. I feel good, I think. I actually don't even know if I'm in it. So I think I'm just sitting here. I don't think I'm in it. I don't know. Is my name over there? I don't know. We'll find out. I guess I'm, yeah, I'm not going to know. I'm just going to sit here and see if I'm selected or not. Competition always brings out the best in 
the people at Barstool. You ask them to do it, people say they'll do it, they get motivated, they lose motivation, it never happens. Pit them against each other and all of a sudden shit gets done. When you put the bright lights on, when people are motivated, when they know they're being watched, that's when they perform. So in an effort to get everybody to start working, here you go, here's the idea. Got a little bit of freedom, with a little bit of structure, go do it. I'm, I'm a good pick. I, I will be a late pick though. I think over under on when I'm picked is 16 and a half. That might even be high. It should maybe be more like 18. Like I am, I am gonna be down there. Do you know what's going on at all? I do. This is I know this. This is like science class, and these are our lab partners, and we have to create a, pro a science project together. Yeah. Do you like that? No, I thought of it. Okay. <laughs> do you want to be a captain? If, if you'd like, you'd like you do it. I think you'd be good at it, Joe. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. it. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the first ever Barstool New York content draft. What we're doing is we have four teams, comprised of around four or five, maybe five or six people each, for a monthly contest to see which team can produce the best content that results in the most views. The dog, Marty, Kelly, and a late entry in Joey Camasta. They will be the team captains. Uh, we're gonna do a snake draft style, and that will be your team for the month. Clever, you're gonna pick a number between one through four. You guys guess, whoever gets the number right, like they do on Dog Walk, will get the first pick. Okay. One through four, Nate. One. Three. All right, Joey gets the first pick. Ooh. Oh. Okay, uh, one. Three. <laughs> Kelly has the second pick. Oh my god. One. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All right. Marty gets fourth pick. So Joey, Kelly, Nate, Marty is the order. We have a lot of the names here, but there are plenty of characters in this office. There are security guards, there are cleaning people, there's any anything goes here. So So, so I could get I a security guard you picked over me. That could happen. Yes. <laughs> I'm worried about that. I mean, right. they're, go, they're, on. They're, go on. Go on. I would probably draft Ebony over you. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, and Dan's very entertaining. That'd be fine. So, uh, Joey, you are officially on the clock. First choice, Tommy Smokes. Wow. Tommy My favorite Smokes. in the world. How do I stick it on? Number one overall. The exact player. opposite of gym class. I know. I, I'm excited. I think Joey's a great captain. I'm excited to see who we round out the team with, and it's an honor to be the first pick. Are you going to be a part of the decision process? I hope so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I trust. I, I, I like thinking it's so funny. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so far, love this draft. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, second up. Rico Bosco, oh. number two overall oh. pick. Oh. Wow. Have a lot. Uh, we've had we've had conversations offline about content stuff, ideas we have floating around. Okay. I, I think that he's a good person to have. Was there a discussion about this ahead of time? No, not okay. this. About something completely different. Okay. Uh, like he's already got things moving in his head, and I like it. Does it make you nervous at all that he's not here right now? No, no. I he's he's still here later probably. Maybe he's doing something. I'm not worried about that. Okay. No. Caroline, <gasps> come on now. God damn it. Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> Marty with the f final pick of the first round. So I get four and five, right? Yes, correct. That's right. Actually, four. Any and of five. these names I could pick. Any of these, any two of these names. Yeah. Lenny Balls and Dana B. Wow. I mean, yeah, yeah. We knew that was coming. <laughs> I mean, you had the last overall pick, but I feel like this worked out better for you than it could have ever. I mean, that was amazing. Oh. I didn't know those were both on the board. That was fantastic. So I feel like you were almost confused. Like, wait, I can pick <laughs> these two people. <laughs> the video is going to be Caroline and Rowan doing music and Nate going like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, give way. Cut that out. <laughs> uh, Kelly. Bob Fox, uh, one of the OGs. I hope you're okay with that, Bob. Bob, you now join the likes of Rico Bosco. Your thoughts on uh, being a teammate with, again, an actual crazy person? I, I love that. I, I think two crazy people, maybe, as Kelly said, but Rico's got oblos, so, you know, it keeps him grounded. I love this team. Joey? Yes. Uh, two picks. Okay. That way we're going with those? Clemmer and Large. Clemmer wow. and Large. Come on down, boys. The big man uh, battling through a Well, we have two bears. I wanted two bears and two twinks. We're gonna be <laughs> so. Two bears. That should definitely be the oh, name of the team. I'll tell you that much. Two bears, two bears, two twinks uh, has a nice ring to it. Person, can we draft on Faddleberg? Yeah, why aren't you on? Oh, uh, he's not on. No, no, so, so I'm, I'm, I would say. You're I'm, not on there because I would have done it. Fight, fights, so like fights, Brianna, Chicks in the Office, we can be a part of your video, but I don't think we would be available enough to be working on this full time. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you make money, you don't have to do it. 
<laughs> Translation. <laughs> Right, right, right. That makes sense. It's okay. utterly insane that Frank was not the number one yeah. overall pick. I think he's the most recognizable person at the company, maybe including Dave Portnoy. Frank. Third round value for Frank the Tank is insane. I think that's an amazing pick. What do you think, Frank? Hey, uh, people who uh, pass on me are going to regret it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. There you go. I Take the team of Grace and Brianna. And Zach Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> You know, Sass has got a lot of that comedian thing. I like this. I like the comedic Sass. I think so too. I think so too. Let's okay. go. <laughs> okay. Lil Sasquatch has been drafted by Team Kelly. Whoa. That was with good. A, uh, <laughs> big assist. It was like a, a manager. Thing. Yeah, I loved a big, it. A big yeah. assist from Frank. Uh, very, very integral in that pick there. He said, I like the comedian aspect. Yep. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's <laughs> what it was. Uh, back That's to it. Joey. Can I get two? Yes. Um, <laughs> First one is Francis. <laughs> I wish Francis <laughs> off the board. <laughs> Joey's podcast partner still on the couch. The guy who, the guy who Dana, got him out of the Upper East Side yeah. studio. <laughs> and Trish. And Trish. There you go. The out of I need someone boys. to do the work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says he needs someone to do the work. Pat, what do you think? Oh, I'm used fair. to that. We did out about his I did I did. I'm not the last one. Thank God. No. Back to Kelly. I think Sean Red. Oh, she Gia also. Gia, she, her name's not here. But she's in here. Oh, Gia. Gia. Get Gia. Get Gia. Gia, for sure. I didn't know that. Thanks, Frank. Uh, before we go any further, let's address John Rich just tweeting the board. He tweeted the whole board. I asked if I could. Not. I the whole point. I meant like the blank board, dude. Not the picks. It was like five picks. It was like five picks. Gonna hype it up. What are you trying to do? What are we doing? One of the dumbest things that's ever happened. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I literally asked you. That is not that ridiculous. You didn't say. I meant like just the blank board to say the content draft is happening. It was only like eight picks. It was like eight picks. I mean, it's that's stunning stuff. That's crazy. Do I want you to delete? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Wait, I would make my first video about the dumbest thing that's ever happened at Barstool, John Rich. Okay, well, like five people saw. So. Okay, that is true. You don't have a lot of oh, followers. Nate will Thank you. Not well, Dave oh. has texted me. He said he might be interested. Okay. Dave Portnoy. <laughs> he sits in there. <laughs> if you can, yeah. Well, he didn't say that, but you think if I face him, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're taking big. I have him. Uh, you can take Dave if you, if you, yeah. I, I think if you want to. Let's, let's take Ken Jack. I, I, <laughs> let's take Ken Jack, yeah. Take a, so Ken Jack rounds out the draft. Uh, I'm not participating in this. I was slighted. <laughs> team Kelly, Team Nate, and Team Marty Mush will uh, put together whatever video they see best fit to try to get the most views possible. And next month, for new teams, for new captains, we do it all again. And uh, we keep it rolling to produce the best content we can here at Barcelona, New York. God forbid we promote any sort of content we have coming out. God forbid I tweet six fucking yeah. pics to let people know, hey, Barstool New York might do a content draft. We might be doing Maybe this will be fine. Fucking insane. Called the dumbest thing ever. It's ridiculous. Brock Purdy was the last pick in the draft, and he's in the Super Bowl right now, so getting taken anywhere. I'm just, I'm just happy I'm here. I love the way that Frank really was like, oh, Gia, like, we need Gia. Like, that warmed my heart. Like, me and Frank, I think we're best friends. So this is all that I needed out of this whole entire thing. Uh, but I'm very excited. I'm excited. So myself, after seeing Clemmer handle himself in the rat race, I'm very, very excited, knowing that Tommy is a seasoned veteran and winning just about everything he touches. And I love gay dudes, you know that. I love gay dudes. We got two of them. I'm very, very excited to see what we can get done. I think it went great. Frank the Tank is on a, on a mission to avenge being a third round pick. Joey, as a captain, is crazy. Team Nate's clout chasing. Uh, Marty assembled like the biggest clown of biggest uh, group of clowns I've ever seen. I, I couldn't have drafted up better. Except for John Ridge tweeting out the results. Right. Away. I was just hoping I wasn't the last pick. Were you Thank happy you. when you saw it? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I oh, yeah. that was, hey, I kept my word. Right before the draft, I was going, Marty, good chemistry here. I just didn't want to go last. <laughs> I was saying, I think you may have taken me too early, but we well, could just I, play I, fucking nice. basketball. Nice. Very nice. I said we do something athletic. With no, it. no. I think we do something completely out of the box that no one would think we do. All right. What we, we, could put, we should put on a musical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
I think half these people aren't going to be here, right? You just look at the board, that's just a fact. Nate's team, half his team's not going to be here. His team sucks. I don't want to be, I don't want no, any part of it. I want to be on Marty's team ASAP because that is, that's just the fellas. They need organization. I organize a full ass show with the bracket, which is a huge pain in the ass all the time. I can get them organized. That's it. That's all they need. They need an organizer, and I'll be that for them. That's all I need to be. Perfect. So you need to get that trade done ASAP. You guys have no organization. Can you trade Smitty for me right now and get me off that team? <laughs> Just quick trade. No question, I do not want to be on that team. Our team isn't that much better. It's significantly, for me, it is better to be on your team than that team. What is Smitty? Smitty's not going to yeah, be here. He's the captain. No, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna talk to the rules. I will. That, that trade is on the table, and I'm in. Anybody's on the trading block. Anyone is. Hubs can be got in the second. I'm mean, like the only one on this whole board that knows how to fucking edit. How did I go the last person? What do you mean? I had a documentary. <laughs> Took Caroline first because she makes videos as it is. She has a good foundation making videos. Does her videos all do very well. Uh, Roan, he produced all of the Smoke Show. He knows how to make videos. I think he's a strong asset to have on board. Grace O'Malley, uh, she has a million TikTok followers. She has very famous friends that we can clout chase with. Um, and then I don't remember the rest of the team. Um, so I got Tommy first, thinking that I was going to get Caroline next, and then she got swept under my feet, and then. It's like, no, we just get the, try to see who has the biggest dicks and uh, go with that. So I put that together. Tall and lanky always have, and large names, has large in his name, so I figured he had a big dick too. So, so here we are. I am really pumped about it. I started off with like, you know, let's bring the crazies together at first in mind, and then the people that will handle the crazies. And I think that, that Robbie and Gia are really good anchors for me, Frank, and Rico, and Sass hopefully won't quit halfway through. <laughs> so I think it'll be good. I think it'll be fun. It's the same stuff. We've already done, done this one. It would just be a rerun. What? Making fun of my pants, doing all that. I'm just, I just held the camera up. I didn't say a word. You, you panned down. No. You did. No. I saw you. No. You went down and got him. Yeah, I saw him. Let's get him. Yeah.